So once again, I've got to apologise for not bringing you as much content as I always promise. Uh, obviously it's still very mild, it's been a very uh, busy year with the, the temperatures being so crazy. The, the drought that we've had, the, the phone hasn't stopped ringing, the orders haven't stopped coming in because the fish are feeding hard and growing very well. But there's been lots of problems that have come with that, with the, the, the dry summer that we've had and the hot summer that we've had. Um, so yeah, all this video schedule that I've got, all these topics I've got in the list that I want to cover, I haven't really been able to work my way through that list yet. So I apologise to, uh, to some of you that are eagerly anticipating some of this uh, content. Um, and I know it helps you all a lot and we get a lot of good comments um, saying how helpful our videos are and really appreciate those, uh, that feedback. Um, and I just apologise I haven't been able to bring you more but it has been, uh, yeah, just like I say, so, so, so busy. Um, and it's still very mild but the netting season has started. We start to do the odd few jobs. Um, so, and I've still got lots of orders coming in um, with it being so mild. I'm still feeding a lot so I've got all my fish to feed as well on top of the, uh, the netting and the orders to ship. Um, so it, yeah, it's been, the autumn's been just as busy as the summer to be honest. Um, but even so, I'm going to try and get my camera out more and more. Um, now, now it's starting to cool down, um, I'd have thought in the next few weeks the orders will start to sort of tail off as it gets into the colder months. Um, and yeah, the feed start, we start to cut back on the feed so I don't need to feed my fish quite so much or quite as regularly. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping I can start to work my way through some of this list of content I want to cover on all these new topics. Um, so yeah, please stay tuned and uh, be patient. We've got lots in the pipeline, as I always promise, and uh, hope you enjoy it all. last year and we uh, did the same same series of netting and we caught loads and loads of fish. It was struggling, Gavin was struggling with any, anyone catching anything really, to be honest. Um, they'd had it done before and unfortunately rather than addressing the problem with fine mesh like this, taking out the tiny fish which are causing the problem, people who did it took away bream, which was the valuable fish, the asset really. So they got taken away, which is a bit of a shame, but um, Anyway, now, uh, and it still didn't fish very well after that, so rather than keep putting more and more fish in, we did it with the fine mesh net, and it's very shallow this lake, it's not difficult to net, and we've graded out six, seven hundred pounds of one to three inch fish, which went in a little tiny pond just next door, uh, and that helped massively, because it's not very deep in here, it's not very big, but it freed up the space, freed up the oxygen, and then suddenly the match weight People actually started catching for a start, but then uh, it changed everything around. Gavin has put some more fish in because we did take a lot out uh, of numbers, so he, you know, obviously wants to keep everyone happy to put more fish in, but not to the extent it was before. So now, obviously, to keep on top of that, we're just back again to try and ca catch some more small fish. Hopefully, we'll be able to just shift some, show you what we're doing, and then put the rest back. And that's it, really. And then hopefully, we'll have another stress-free year instead of worrying about what people are catching and matching. invested in a lot more fish after um, a couple of years of it being a bit iffy and he's lost quite a few due to low oxygen bits and pieces like that he's invested in more fish put a lot more bream in and eyed and bits and pieces and they look really good um, but to get them through next year again we've done the same thing using the fine mesh and it's, this is what we've taken out just a little tiny roach there's some quality roach in here but like we keep saying with these small waters as well something's always going to reproduce and just by taking out these fish, which don't really get caught anyway, and they're always going to be an abundance of them, you can just keep things going, especially with the drought we're having and the heat in the summer. It's really important to create that space. You know, if you're going to invest money in fish and, and increase the biomass, it's important then to look at ways to, to balance that out. So if you can take fish out that aren't getting caught, I mean, these aren't worth anything. Um, you know, they're just, 
they're just always going to be the, the issue and we see this more, more often than not so instead of taking out valuable fish uh, we put all the good stuff back and just every year we find mesh nets to crop off the real the smaller the better really and that's just creating space um, and that's what it's all about so then hopefully it'll go through next summer without any problems before he had an aerator running most of the time with no oxygen meter so there's no way of determining the oxygen levels and since he's bought the oxygen meter and realized that actually most of the time the oxygen is absolutely fine he hasn't needed it so whilst an oxygen meter might sound expensive it's a lot less expensive than buying uh, than the electricity now to run the aerators especially when you don't need them and a lot of clubs can take heed of that because we get a lot of these places where they've constantly got aeration on and you say well what's the oxygen levels and they don't know so they just have it on all the time or to me that's a complete waste of time. It's not very sensible fishery management because you need that as a backup. It's sat over there, it's, it's there in case you need it, but you don't want it unless you need it in my opinion. There's no point just having it on, um, mainly because of the cost, but also because it's, it's not a good gauge of what your fish are doing. If you need to be monitoring your oxygen levels, even this time of year, because it's 15, 16 degrees today. Um, so yeah, all those sort of things are helping Gavin build up his, his uh, information so that every year, instead of it being a headache when people aren't catching, they'll get more bites. And this is definitely a big key part of that.